Within the indie scene, the 3D platforming genre is getting a sort of revitalization. Titles like A Hat in Time and Ukulele have provided experiences celebrating the genre's vibrant past. With Effie, yet another indie development team tries their hand at crafting a 3D platforming game. Citing inspiration from many titles including Ratchet and Clank, The Legend of Zelda, Spyro, as well as the previously mentioned I Had in Time, I was eager to try Effie out. Considering the creative lineage, Effie aims to be yet another nostalgic treat for fans of 3D platforming games of generations past. The story is told by an old man to a young girl named Effie. It's a tale of a young man named Galland who happened to be too lazy to help some girl out. In a twist reminiscent of the Beauty and the Beast, the girl turns out to be a witch named Melira and ends up cursing him. As a result, Galland becomes an old yet strangely muscular man. However, old age doesn't hinder him in any real capacity. It's merely used as a way to give the protagonist a motive while also leaving a lingering question as to whether or not Galland is actually Effie's grandfather or if he's just plain lying. In order to undo the curse, he is eventually tasked with stopping Melira's evil plans of taking over the land. With the help of his magical shield, Runestone, Galland sets off in a mild, somewhat dull adventure. Before he can finally take the witch down, he has to absorb the three gems of evil with his shield. However, there is absolutely no consequence for him absorbing evil gems unlike something cool and interesting like Shadow of the Colossus. Sadly, the story felt incredibly bland and shallow, as there seemed to be a focus on relying on a generic whimsical fairy tale outline. With the aforementioned video game inspirations, Effie brings nothing particularly new or all that polished to the table. The game is a mishmash of platforming action adventure without a clear vision of what it wants to be. In other words, the title has its platforming, combat, and puzzles spread out in such a way that nothing ever gets the focus it truly deserves. Puzzles are often simplistic and lack any real challenge, resulting in them just feeling like the occasional tedious chore. Combat is a mostly button mashing affair that is hardly worth talking about depth-wise, but it was still more enjoyable than the puzzles. Oftentimes, you can just keep attacking and everything just turns out fine. Finally, the platforming is milk toast with the standard double jump and a one note dash move that covers a lot of ground. The game provides a brand new shield based attack at the beginning of each area. Admittedly, Effie does a decent job at providing avenues to use these moves, but they hardly get fleshed out or used in any interesting way. Though the moves have their uses, the complexity of the combat is vastly limited in scope. Anyway, movement feels somewhat stiff and lacks the smooth animation one would hope for in a platformer. Where many of the best platformers make the active traversal into the main point of playing, Effie's platforming is ultimately hindered by a lack of polish with regards to movement. Not to mention Effie's open world, which is criminally underused and considering its indie origins, rather impressive. In these open world sections, Gallon can ride Runestone like a surfboard in a way reminiscent of Ratchet and Clank's hoverboard gameplay. Honestly, traversing through the land with Runestone is definitely a highlight of the game. It ties well with the beautiful foliage of the environments, and the sense of speed from riding the shield is easily the most engaging part of Effie. However, the open world has little there that's worth exploring. There are some forgettable collectibles of light lore, as well as a basic level up mechanic that doesn't really do much to reward traversing through the landscape. You can do a sort of speed trial, but the hoverboard doesn't have much going on mechanically, so even that's not all that great. Despite my mostly unfavorable opinion of the gameplay, Effie does a solid job in the presentation department. Building on the storybook feel, the game is narrated to the player in a way that reminded me of a poor man's bastion. Though the voice actor doesn't have much charm, he does a passable job at delivering a semi-whimsical performance. The visuals are somewhat of a highlight, especially the previously mentioned vibrant open world. Sure, it's a mostly empty husk of a world, but it does look pretty at times. Effie has a lot going on, but without any real direction. The game evokes vague senses of nostalgia from games with clear visions, but fails to do much with the inspirations cited by the developers. The open world visuals are somewhat of a treat synergizing with the cool but superficial shield surfing gameplay. Mechanically hollow, the title is ultimately hindered by an overly ambitious approach to design. 
Effie might just be worth looking into for those who are okay with simple, shallow platforming experiences. Thanks for watching the review. If you enjoyed it, feel free to like the video and consider subscribing to my channel. If you want more, here are some of my other videos. Anyway, I'll see you all next time when I review Hollow Kitty Roller Rescue for the Nintendo GameCube.